she ain't wanna know what I said in two. Let's go. Let's go. I'm into all of these stars on the roof. Yeah. I'm into all of that green. Hold up. I'm into all of that green and green. Matter of fact, I'm into. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Tyrese. Does it? And we does it because it's already done. You feel me? Welcome back to the channel, man. Listen. Back with another reaction video. Y'all seen that title? Y'all seen that thumbnail? But hold up. Do what you see on the screen right now. Go ahead and scroll down and subscribe and click that post notification bell. Because I'm dropping, 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 dropping these videos. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I'm back with a Tom McDonald reaction, man. Shout out to all the love and support I got from the last uh, Tom McDonald reaction with Ben Shapiro. If you haven't seen that one, it's in the top of the corner. Go ahead and click that little eye. And go ahead and check out those videos. And that playlist in the... Uh, Little, little, whatever it's called, whatever YouTube calls it. I think it's called a um, card. Yeah, little card in the corner. But yeah, it might be in this corner. It will, you'll click, yeah, you'll know what it is. But um, yeah, Tom McDonald, The Machine. I have no idea what this song's gonna be about. So I'm kind of just running along with the Tom McDonald train at this point because I don't, I don't keep up with Tom McDonald outside of you know everything else. Sure. So Hangover Gang, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, it's a three minute and 20 second video. So I don't even know what to expect. Make sure y'all get ready to comment down. Let me know some information. You feel me? I am not Republican. I am not a liberal. Why the hell can I just be American without getting political? This yeah. Suppresses all. They don't care about the cost. How's this a democracy when we got communists in charge? Cancel culture, Nazis, all they're missing is the swastikas. Honestly, this is a psychological holocaust. Pumping propaganda through the screen and straight into your brain. You ain't on a plantation, but you definitely still a slave. Race theory is indoctrinating children. How blacks are disadvantaged, how whites think a white privilege. What a brilliant way to reinforce division. If whites believe they have it easy, they will never help you fight the system. And now they burn in books in untraditional ways. That has traded newspapers for the digital age. Now the facts can be deleted with no physical flames. That has changed the information and the truth gets erased. Bro got me about to cry. <laughs> Bro has me about to cry. Because everything he just said, bro, is real. How can you not, bro? How can you not like Tom McDonald, bro? Please, like, somebody tell me, how can you not like Tom McDonald? Because, like, bro, his music really makes you, like, look at stuff like you've already thought about. The stuff that's already in front of you. The stuff you've already seen. And, like, you sit back and you, like, you listen to him. And you're like, bro, somebody's talking about it. Somebody actually cares about it. Like, somebody's really telling the truth about it. Like, he makes you want to get up and do something about it. Like, bro, we get up every day and we go to work. And like we just continue the rat race until we can find something to get us out the rat race. Whether it's get rich quick or whether it's get rich slow. Or whether it's just I'm going to figure this out and then like come up with my plan. And then once I got my plan, then I'm going to work until I make enough money to fund my plan. And then use those funds from my plan to get me out the rat race. But that could be another 20 years. You know what I'm saying? Like, and we just forget about what's really going on, bro. But like he's telling the truth. Like you telling black people that we oppress. And you tell them whites that they privileged. But, bro, that don't even really be the case half of the time. Because not every black person... I mean, like, black people, we oppress. I get it. But, like, the longer you hold on to that victim mentality is the longer you're going to look at it. Like, I don't walk around like, oh, shit, I'm black. Like, <laughs> who the fuck... Who, like, who walks around and be like... Like, if you walk around and you're black and you be like, oh, I'm black. They hate me. That's what your life going to be. But, like, if you walk around and, like, like, if you walk around and you, like, I don't even know how to put it. Because, like, some white people do walk around like, oh, I'm privileged. But not every white person grew up in the suburbs. Not every white person grew up with a silver spoon in their mouth. Not every white person grew up in a big-ass house or a mansion. Most of the white, honestly, most of the white people I meet, they work regular jobs. Like me. And their parents did not have all the money in the world. They had to get a job at 16. Like, that's most of the white people I know. Like, 
there's a few here and there who parents are like, you know, they got good money, they decent. Like, but I think having decent money and having good money ain't a bad thing. Like, you can't get mad at people for doing what they're supposed to do. Like, my kids, I want people to be like, damn, you a black person in the suburbs because I did what I was supposed to do. You're supposed to get money. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to do something right. You're not supposed to be just living average. If you live in average, that's because you decided to accept that into your reality. But I'm not going to sit here and be mad or be upset with myself or feel some type of guilt because you decided to not live in a gated community because you decided to not do anything with yourself. That's your problem. But like, if you, but if you live in like with a victim mentality, oh, I'm going to be oppressed my entire life. Bro, you can do whatever you want. You just have to understand that there's going to be a little bit of oppression based off real skin color and based off where you come from. But everybody gets oppressed in some type of way. Yes, black people have been oppressed in this country. We still are in certain ways. But that don't mean I'm going to walk around like, damn, I'm a victim. No, I'm him. <laughs> I don't even like saying that. No, I'm just, I'm a man. Like, bro, we're not going to deal with that. I'm talking, bro. Let me get back to the song, bro, because like, bro, let me, let me just get back to the song. Because he really had me turned just now because like, bro, he was really saying real shit, bro. I'm gonna talk like damn four minutes into the video. Look, let me. Yeah. 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 Oh God. The government's agenda is controversial, but promoting guns and liquor in our music is commercial. They're confusing us with pronouns they made up to make us triggered. You can call me what you want, but just don't call me late for dinner. School teaches you to learn and never teaches you to think. So you absorb misinformation, then you practice what they preach. You ain't free. Can't you see that's how they want you to act? That's called conforming to the norm. You don't need freedom for that. I'm not Republican or liberal or left wing or right leaning. I took the red pills because that's what's fighting for my freedoms. And you don't need to choose to be accepted. They both fake teams. Evil runs the world now like hell ain't got no they keep screaming to wake up, but they're all woke out of the way. We know the truth, and all the media is fake. I swear the truth is fake. Bro said, evil runs the world like hell ain't got no vacancy. <sighs> the system has failed everybody. And he says something that, bro, like I was really talking to somebody about this the other day. But like we will sit here and like we will sit here and, and the first thing you do like when you meet somebody new. Like, you can hear something come out their mouth, and you could just be like, bro. Like, recently, I, I met this older woman, and, we, you know, we had a conversation. We were talking. And, like, she asked me if I voted. And it's just like, you know, she, she brought up the immigrant who killed uh, that girl in Georgia, 21-year-old. And, like, I'm just sitting here thinking, like, bro, we talk about voting, but at the end of the day... Just because we put somebody in a chair does not mean shit's going to change. 
just because we put some like we and I mean we put somebody because like bro, all the presidential elections are rigged. And if you I, if you don't believe that, bro, like your vote really do not matter. The country has been in turmoil for centuries now. So like the only thing that's really gonna change something is if we decide to make something happen and change it. And I like Tom McDonald music because like he really makes you wanna get up like and do something about it because like voting is just the first, like just a stepping stone to that, bro. Like you can vote for whoever you want. You can put whoever you want in a chair. But look what happened with Obama. All I'm gonna say, like nothing. It don't matter who's in a chair. It matters what we do as people, bro. Like people be like, oh, rent's so high or things are this and that. But bro, what are you doing to change it? Like, bro, if we all just stop paying rent. We're going to hurt a lot of people's pockets who don't need the money. Like, bro, it's just, it's just, bro, like, and then, like, back to the school stuff, bro. I've, I've been seeing stuff like parents are homeschooling their kids now because, like, it just makes more sense. Like, you can, your kids spend eight hours in a school all day not learning nothing besides all the dumb shit that these other kids are, like, teaching them. But then you can homeschool your kids two to three hours, four hours a day, and... The rest of the day, they can go do stuff. They can go be a kid. They can go actually use their mind. They can actually be creative. They can go do something. Like, the system is just broken. Then he said we ran by communists, bro. Like, we really is. Because, like, if you look at the way the country's going, like, I don't even keep up with it. But, like, it's it's a form of, it's literally forming communism. If you look at it, bro, it's like, the way we're headed is communist. But all that shit don't even matter. Because at the end of the day, when you really realize it, none of this shit matters. Because it's all a game. It's the people up top who are controlling the game. It's just, it's just chess. And we trying to play checkers, but it's chess. Like, bro, we the pawns of this shit, bro. We need to move up and be kings and queens. Protect one another. Do this and that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can't even... It's just it's just crazy, bro. His his music is really good, bro. Like, I I like this. And I saw um a short of his... Before I reacted to this, and it was like music like this is gonna be illegal to make, and there's reason for it because like shit like this empowers the people. Like he said, our music now commercialize like our like industry commercializes drinking, alcohol, drugs, sexual exploitation of women, and men. All this stuff, bro. So it's like he really pinpointed stuff, bro. It's a long reaction, but like. Tom McDonald, you you did something with this one. You I like music that get me talking, bro. Like, I can't listen to it all day. But he definitely got me talking about some stuff because it's just like he really he really be saying some stuff. But that's my reaction, man. If y'all enjoyed the video, because I know y'all did, go ahead and leave a like on this video right now. Make sure you share this video and make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell, man. Cause I'm gonna keep dropping these videos back to back to back to back. You feel me? It's your boy Tyrese Does It, man. I'ma see y'all in the next video. Peace. Easy to get caught up with all of the shit they hate. Yeah, it's easy to get caught up with all of the shit they say. Yeah, it's easy to get caught up. Yeah, easy to get caught up. Yeah, they like the dead riding, they like the cop, but the people don't like it, they don't want you to like it. All that swagging and